In ISP 250, my name is Karisa, number 26 on 29 June at 4pm. Assalamualaikum, clock in ISP 250, my name is Siti Nur Aisyah Zulaika binti Muhammad Zarawi, number 27 in attendant list. Today is 29 June 2021, now at 3.59. Clock in ISP 250. Muhammad Fizra Mahir Mahir Faisal, nombor 17 dalam attendance ISP 250, pukul 4 petang Clock in for ISP 250, my name is Anas Rizkin Ben Rodin and today is 3.59pm, 29 June 2021 Clock in uh, ISP 250, uh, time now is 4 o'clock uh, Number in internal list is number 19 Video lima kosong Muhammad Syami Memin dan Abdul Aziz nombor dua puluh satu empat petang. Clock in ISP two five zero Shazana Nuazani binti Sadna number twenty eight in the list at four pm twenty nine June Tuesday. Clock in ISP two five zero My name is Dana Patricia binti Muhammad Azari number three in the list four pm twenty nine June. Clock in ISP 250 Mama Ame bin Mama Azhar Number 14 in the list On 29 June 2021 At 4pm Clock in 250 Mama Fakir Imran bin Mama Ame Number 16 in the list 29 June At 4pm Clock in ISP 250 Mama Ikan Bin Yusuf Nama Ayatanda 18 Pukul 4 Clock in Shailu ID bin Zainal 29102089882 ISP 2504 Clock in ISP 250 Ishfaz Alisha binti Ahmad Amin Han uh, Number 5 in the list At 4.01pm On 29 Of June 2021 Clock in ISP 250 Izzah Shafiqah binti Mahdi Number 6 in attendance list 29 June 2021 at 4pm um, Clock in for ISP 250 My name is Muhammad Imanat Ibn Amin Amzah At 4.01pm 29 June 2021 um, Clock in ISP 250 Naik Wanak Izzah binti Suhaimi Number 25 in the list uh, 29 June at 4.02pm Assalamualaikum, Clock in ISP 250, Nur Azra Ahmad binti Mustafa Kamal, in attendance 24, on 29 June 2021, at 4.30 p.m. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh, my name is Numan Haziq bin Zufika Zikri, Clock in for the class ISP 250 at 4 p.m. on 29 June 2021. Clock in for ISP 250, Kairu Azri bin Amrudin, name in daily 7, at 4 5pm Assalamualaikum uh, Clock in ISP 250 My name is Muhammad Zik Bin Muhammad Zidan Attendance list number 10 It is 4 5pm And it's 29th June 2021 Assalamualaikum Clock in ISP 250 Nombor 12 Dalam list Nama Muhammad Zidan Syami Bezaini Pukul 4 6 minit uh, 29 Jun 2021 Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alamin Wa salatu wa salamu ala ashrafin sayyidina Iwal musalin Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in 
Subhanaka la ilma la illa ma'allamtana innaka antal alimul hakim Rabbi syurhali sadari wa yasilli amri wahlul ukhudatan min lisani yafahu khawli Wa la hawla wa la quwata illa billahi al-alil azim Allahumma salli wa sallim ala sayyidina muhammadin wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam Assalamualaikum Dengar tak? Ada ni Assalamualaikum Tak ada, tak dengar Internet Masalah internet ni Bukan Discord lah, bukan Discord Internet lah orang Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi Waalaikumsalam Alright so Sorry tadi memang ada masalah internet Dekat 10 minit 20 minit Allah 10 minit lebih Kan Pergi masa kita <coughs> Minggu ni um, 4, 4 grup ya 4 grup Syahmi Yang cepat lah Sebuah sini mana? <coughs> oh, memang internet problem. Kejap ada, sekejap tak ada. 
Kita nak buat kelas ni Alright, so untuk uh, Syami yang mana ni? Yang first ni eh, jahit lah Betul, ok So kamu, kalau ada uh, internet problem kamu boleh view sendiri lah Ok Saya nak besarkan dia punya ni Empat-empat dah dah, dah dah hantar sini kan Satu, dua, tiga, empat So next saya boleh terus uh, Comment terus lah Kan tak macam minggu lepas Saya tak boleh comment lagi Sebab nanti Tak fair lah kan Ok uh, So saya besarkan ni Mana ni Nah Assalamualaikum <coughs> We are group from uh, that's for e which is uh, for project ISP 250 we created a project name Kaden Arisha so <coughs> we started uh, with our contents which is group members project purpose project scope and conclusion <coughs> so uh, let's serve for our group members first So the first, our group member is Norman Hazid bin Zulfika as a project manager and second, the technique uh, is Muhammad Aiman Naim bin Amir Hamza uh, and me as a site editor, Muhammad Muzuddin bin Mazli and the tester, Ishfaz Alisha binti Ahmed Amin Han and lastly, our programmer, Muhammad Zainul Shahmi bin Zaini <coughs> Next, we will look at our project purpose. This software design description document describes the architecture and system design for the e-commerce management system. This document, this document provides user-friendly system for user to find their desired lip balm. To access for the document is easy with simple instructions for user use it securely. Take care of some functionalities will help us achieve and determine the characteristic of the system of e-commerce. <coughs> Our project scope is Our project scope is uh, Kedah Arisha is a e-commerce web-based application for everyone who want to buy or find their favorite lip balm such as lip mat from the system via internet. The major benefit of this online shopping system is for customer to find their makeup items using online shopping system at one place and it can be accessed via online interaction. This Kedi Arisha online shopping system is to ease customer to purchase without have to go out to shopping mall to buy makeup and surely will save their time. So for the conclusion of our project, We hope that our objective, which is to provide the systemat systematically organized and easy to use online shopping system to the user, will successful. And not forgotten, our goal is to provide successfully online shopping web system will be achievable. Even though it takes time to develop this web system, we believe good things take time. So next, we will look at our uh, web for next <coughs> a 
So this is the login interface of Kaden Arisha. First time customers can click on the sign up button right there. Okay, and then they need to fill in their existing email, their name, and their password for next time logged in. And they can they need to click the register button over there. Now for the regular customer that have visit our website before, they only need to fill in their username and their usual password. And they can click on the login button. Okay, for our homepage, uh, uh, which will be include our uh, place link flow and some picture of our product, and also the video of place link flow and the ingredient and the benefit of the of our product, uh, and on the top, if the sorry, if the customer wants to order out the lip oil, they can just click on the top right corner, which is uh, the order order button. And if the customer wants to log out, they just can click the log out button. Okay, let's say they want to order the product, so they just click the order now button. Okay, now next is the order page which contains the order form. So, customer needs to fill in the information about themselves, which is the full name, uh, full name, phone number, the quantity of the product they want to buy, the, their address, which is the house, city, the, and need to choose one of the state and the postcode. So, Let's fill in. So, and then you will click, click the confirm order. Okay, so after the order is successful, they will be redi redirect to the homepage back. So, if customer want to order, order again, they can click the order now. But if they don't want, they will just click the lockout button. Okay, next. Okay, so now let's move on to the admins uh, login. Okay, um, apart from the customer's site, uh, we also have the admins login. Okay, for, the, for admins, we have to log in and enter our username and our password. For example, my name is Nokman. I will enter my username, which is not mine, and my password. And then click the, log the login button and I will be directed to the admin page. Okay, in this page, um, for example, the customer wants to change the order, the quantity of the order. For example, they already make the order for four quantity, but they want to change it to three. Okay, our admin can change it by just click at the quantity box and change the quantity of the order. Okay, after they have done it, they will click the pencil icon to save it. Uh, 
um, and after that, the update success and admins have to put in the tracking number for customer to know when their parcel will, will arrive. Okay, after that, uh, if there are no changes that want to be made or there are no tracking number to be put, they can just simply click the lockout button and then it, it will be done. And now let's move on to the database. Okay, so our database, uh, this is the PHP my admin page that contain my database. So the database for our project, for our website is uh, Kedah Arisha that contain three tables, which is user, order and address. These tables uh, store different, different data. So for user, user table, uh, store the user that use our website, uh, so like the email, username, password. Uh, so in the user table, uh, there is two user type, uh, which is admin and customer. So uh, for the table address, uh, this table con uh, will store the customer's uh, address detail, which is the house, postcode, city, state, and the address ID. So this address ID and user ID is the primary key for these two tables. And also it's the foreign key in the order table. So uh, user ID and address ID. So table there. Customer, which is the full name, the phone number, the quantity of the order, courier, and the tricky number of the order. So I mean, can change this in here, change the detail in here, or in the admin page. So that's all. With the straps, sir. Kaya tak boleh sih. What do you say, Shalom?
Tadi saya tak rekod suara saya. Saya lupa saya mute dekat OBS. Saya tak rakam. Tapi saya dah bagi tahu dekat uh, direct de ha, direct kat sini kan. So saya direct kat sini. Siapa so, tadi je saya ulang balik. Uh, very good UI. Lepas tu uh, yang lain-lain tu uh, tak payah paparkan semua maklumat daripada database ke web. Contohnya yang ID-ID tu tak perlu, tak perlu tunjuk. Okay, password not encrypted and then you can extend your project like uh, delivery nak on yang nak deliver tu apa delivery service nak pakai sistem kamu ataupun kamu boleh buat uh, report uh, transaction per year ke per month ke ataupun item mana yang paling banyak di order macam tu lah kan right <coughs> ok so kita pergi ke next Uh, presentation Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh So for our group we create a bookstore website and name it Happy Bookstore We move on to introduction of our members There is only three of us in this group Our project manager and web designer is Muhammad Nad bin Nabil Since he is project manager as well he is responsible in most of the part Next is Muhammad Hazid Zikri His role is programmer and also our secretary reporter. And lastly, I am Muhammad Ashraf Azim. is also a programmer and will be a sole presenter in this presentation. So for our website introduction is our website work as an online bookstore. Customers can use our website to buy books that they like. To buy the book, the customer needs to fill in some info for the courier to deliver the book to their front door. Information such as name, address, telephone number and payment method is needed to be filled in to ease the delivery process. The publisher team provides all books. Customers can use the card system to buy many books simultaneously without buying them one by one to save more time. Our system was developed to help people who like to purchase a book without troubling themselves searching for text that is hard to find in the market by genre and popularity. The scope of our website include basic function of online shopping like how all other websites that such as Store record of users' detail to make buying read book repeatedly on our website easier, billing method, update, and add new book category. So for the conclusion is, our goal is to help is the customers that want to buy books without going outside and traveling themselves searching for books that they want. Our website also provides user-friendly interface so our customer can use it without a problem. Now. We move on to our starting main page. We pick Snap as a background. So we don't use a template for, from online. We create this all from scratch. We will start from the top over to the very bottom side of the list. So from the top is we got home hyperlink button and register button for a new user that don't have detail inside this website yet contact to for a user to contact the admin maybe to add sample or request something and about us is about the website and view card is for the user so for now we will look to the admin part first this this is the only admin that available so all other user that register to, to our website will be registered as a normal user. So 
this is the admin dot a layout and this is the category for the admin to add a new category of book maybe they want to uh, add commentary with category book and it is and you can see here commentary here is already added so we can delete this and no more comedy category <coughs> Subcategory is also similar with category part except it's got extra feature for parent category. So the user maybe can search by filter category and parent, parent category and subcategory. So for the book part is this is the list of the book available in our website. So for the example if maybe this book is out of out of stock so we want to delete it just press the delete and that book is no more and this is the contact where where if there is user that want to contact us their detail will appear at here and so now we try log out and try register a new user Press OK. So this is registered. You are successfully registered. Just scroll down the bottom and use the username you registered at here just now and log in. Now this is the user layout. Uh, so maybe they want to uh, buy this book at to cut and maybe tracking book also get to cut Oops. I accidentally press double click so I will delete this one and I want this to be maybe 3 so we will be calculate and the press is changing so now they are already done adding all the book they want to the cut they will confirm and so for the checkup, is Project manager as well. Oh, so now the user will have two different payment options. So maybe they want to use the uh, cash on deliveries and since it's cash on delivery, uh, they don't need to fill in anything because they will pay it at their home. So maybe they want now to contact the admin, just type their name their email to so the admin can reply and maybe they want request a uh, yes and okay so now uh, there, there may be no pop-up detail but the query is already sent to admin so if you didn't trust, then we can try look it back. And here is the query that user request just now. So that's all for us. Thank you. Assalamualaikum. Alright, hmm, saya dah disable lah ni, dia keluar-keluar lagi tak berhenti Kenapa? Tak mana ni, kan yang lain pula Oh, lain pula, gambar sama Saya pun pening dia oh. hmm. Tadi dah buat dah, rupanya lain-lain
Okay, so thank you uh, Group Nabil And team Semua kali Alright, so Kali ni kita tengok uh, Page yang Kurang manage, betul kan? Tak sempat manage ke apa? Uh, tak sempat Tak sempat Okay tak apa N uh, At least uh, Bukan teguran lah So kita Take note je lah ha? So Kalau sempat Kita uh, Manage uh, Kalau Kalau dan Kamu boleh pakai uh, Page by page lah Login Satu page asing uh, Apa nama Sistem page asing Lepas tu navigation uh, Kat atas tu sepatutnya uh, Vertical kan Keadaan dalam semua satu baris Macam tab tu kan Dan Saya tengok ke bawah kan Eh vertical ke bawah lah Sepertinya dalam satu horizontal yang sama lah Kan Right <coughs> So uh, Untuk UI tu kamu kena Learn lagi lah About color and contrast Contohnya kalau color biru uh, Kalau background biru uh, Text dia kamu boleh color apa Biru cerah Kali yang gelap kan Kalau uh, Kalau biru Biru gerak Cerah kan okay. So ada benda yang Kali yang tak boleh kontras Yang uh, bila kita pakai Tak apa nampak tulisan dia Alright So kena banyak lagi belajar And then uh, tadi ada buat delete pun sama macam dengan group yang sebelum sebelum ni uh, Delete kamu kena cipta satu dialog box untuk uh, confirmkan dulu Are you sure you want to delete? Tak boleh terus delete punya tu Kan? Hmm, bahaya Alright uh, And then sama juga tak besar sangat So kena tambah macam report lah Kebanyakan semua yang buat ni tak tak banyak dia punya report query tak banyak. Kan uh, dalam per, per month ke every month kita nak tengok report and then kita boleh download dia sebagai PDF. Ada tak? Terfikir nak download report sebagai PDF. Untuk semua ha, semua semua group lah. Mungkin tak terfikir kan sebab kita tak sentuh pun dalam kelas. Okey. So kita boleh buat report macam tu lah Kalau ada graf-graf lagi bagus kan So kita boleh keluarkan dalam PDF So uh, admin ataupun moderator dia boleh keluarkan Ataupun siapa-siapa yang guna lah Right so ada lagi dua Empat tak? Empat kan baru pukul, pukul lima belum Assalamualaikum and hi everyone We are from group number 6 Today in this video we are going to present our group project named Armoyer Exclusive Here is our group member Isa Shafika binti Mahdi Muhammad Iqmal bin Yusuf Shazana Nur Hazwani binti Saddan Nur Khairunisa binti Azhan and Diana Batrisha binti Muhammad Azhari Next, what is Amar Exclusive? Amar Exclusive is a new fashion brand of clothing, providing online shopping destination in Malaysia, offering customers the widest choice in baju kurung and baju layu. Next, Amar Exclusive is an online boutique for people to find their attires, many variations for men, women and children. We put trial clothes first on our boutique, Our priority is to give the best for our customer. User can browse our online shopping portal without logging into the system. 
if user want to make a purchase, user need to log in first. If user did not have an account yet, user need to register by prompt their email and password. There may be an option for user to choose their item by their category. User can select the item and add to cart. After user add the item to the cart, user can complete the payment details before check out the product. They can make a payment through an online banking system. Next, I will pass to Shazana. I will continue the purpose of our company project. This software design describes the system design for the customer and seller to facilitate them in easy way. This document provides user-friendly system that makes user easy to assess and follow the instruction given into the sequence. We provide the various functionalities that our project aims to make the customer enjoy to shopping by using our website. Moreover, the document facilitates communication and understanding of the system also designed specially for the customer by providing system design that was designed systematically for the customer to purchase their item in easy way. So here is the example of our product in our more exclusive. Next is target market. Our target market is a customer who like shopping online to make them feel secure during this MCO. Customer who prefer high quality fabric for long term use to help people to earn more money from being our agent, roadship and reseller. Customer who like up to date fashion and for middle age and young age because of friendly user website that we build. The last one is conclusion. Nowadays, people are more depend on their gadget. Same goes to shopping. Many website and application that seller build to fulfill their customer certification. This development gives certification to customer who don't have the ability to drive or walk into the boutique. This will make it easier for them to shop for new clothes. All customer will satisfy with our brand since we choose the best fabric and supplier. That's all from us and we will see how our website works later. Hi, Assalamualaikum. My name is Karnisa. I will uh, show to all of you the index and the product part. This is the interface of the our web. There is a login register button, checkout button, and add to cart button. And this is the greeting text for user. And they are in Amwa Exclusive Boutique Web. User can see the model that where our clothes that we sell, the price, and also the add to cart button. This is the part where a uh, user can click, which is men, women, kids, others, new item, and promotion button. There is all the index part also we show to user the men and kids model. This is the contact part, the email, and the number phone. When user click the main button, it will show all of the model that were our clothes. And the woman part, we sell variety of baju kurung, the modern and also traditional baju kurung. And for the kids, we sell for the boys and the girls too. At the new item part, there is a tudung and kurta that we sell at the best price. At the promotion part, user can buy at affordable price which is 50% less and we only choose selection uh, item only. 
when the user click add to cart button they can see how many item that they choose they can click more than one button uh, that they want to buy even from the other part uh, for example from the main part they also can click the add to cart button and they can see the cart uh, increase this method can make them easy to make a payment one only and that's all thank you the first thing to do is for the customer to press login or register at the top right. For customer who made a purchase for the first time, they need to register first by filling in the request details. Among them is email. After that, username. Next, the password. And finally, enter the same password as filled in the password section above. Therefore, customer also need to click on the word terms and privacy to read it. Here, all terms and privacy for this website are displayed. After completing the details of the register section, the customer need to press the register button. And if successful, the success register will be displayed in the top center. Here, the administrator can see all the customer details who fill out the register form. While for customer who already have an account, they need to click the word sign in in the bottom middle. After clicking, the form for login will be displayed. The customer must enter the username and password that have been registered. And done customer can start to make their purchase. So, I will continue with add to cart button. Here is uh, how the add to cart button works. Then, when user click the add to cart button, then you can see here, the number is adding, which is 2, when I click to just 2 click. So, we will click here, to cut by to cut page. Then the details of the clothes here, which is with price 240, then you just click pay. So we just uh, enter the name, one, okay. Let's say uh, one, two, three. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So this is okay. Same uh, 240. Mm -hmm. Name is uh, Tiana. Okay, credit card number. So, uh, or your bank number, mm -hmm. card bank number. One two three four. One two three four. One two three four. So here, spell it. You guys put two two five. This number. Your name then. Continue to check up. Okay, new payment is it successfully? Okay, so when this is here, so let's check here. This the detail of the details. Yeah, so this is all the details have been saved, which is from the database, and I retrieve the data to here. Then user can also back to this page. So that's all from our group. Thank you.
right now. Okay, uh, so yang ni saya tak Clear, clear dengar Okay, yang group ni Macam Problem sikit lah Sebab Dia tak tahu server So, dia present dekat uh, HTML saja. Pasal nak? Ikhmah pasal nak? Ikhmah ada? Ni kan nak? Di master uh -huh. Mana ahli group? Tak ada ahli group ni? Tak ada nah. Pula dah So yang ni saya tak apa gemar sikit Sebab dia Ambil uh, template And then dia modify benda dapat Nampak ada cantik ada tak kan? So, kalau yang sebelum ni memang uh, ada UI tak kontras ke apa daripada awal sampai habis Kita tahu dia yang dia, dia orang yang buat kan So, yang ni dia buat lepas tu dia hanya store information yang daripada form yang dah ada dekat template tu saja Kan, so maksudnya tak ada proses sangat lah Kan, pasan, pasan kan Lepas tu uh, server pun tak betul tadi Nasib baik Ikhmah tunjuk server dekat localhost Kalau tak Memang saya suruh buat balik lah Semua sekali kan Memang tak nampak dia punya server Yang dia boleh add, add card tu semua javascript je Okay So jangan buat macam tu lah lain kali uh, Kalau nak modify, modify betul-betul Kalau tak start from scratch macam group yang tadi uh, Walaupun tak jadi tak apa Jadi kamu buat Faham tak? Kamu buat dengan inisiatif kamu sendiri Kalau setakat nak modify yang orang So saya tak apa gemar lah Alright Ada tak kali group ni? Tak ada tak apa saya record Okay So uh, Kita pergi yang last lah Last Fakro kan Last Fakro Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh My name is Shazwan Aidil This is our group project The name is Tech Hub System Okay, this is our group member which is first uh, Muhammad Fakro Imran bin Muhammad Amin Chazwan Aidi bin Zainal which is me and the last is Muhammad Fizri Aiman bin Muhammad Faizal Okay, our project objective is to create a website for a branded smartphone in the world then customer who is like to purchase and a brand new smartphone could purchase on our website following their own spec that they want with a good price and adorable word accessories okay this is how our website work first user should open our website then they should they have to find their phone that uh, they want and then they have to place the order and make a checkout and payment and last boom they get their phone Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Okay, so this is our admin page And this is our, uh, we at the login page So, we will log in to the page Password Okay, let's go Okay, so this is the dashboard of admin So, the admin will know how much category they have uh, And how much brand which is the device they have customer order uh, which is the customer 
uh, will get their phone when or what, what where and this is the total sale of uh, our company okay so next uh, admin okay so this is here uh, the new staff will add their uh, password email for uh, to enter this admin page so uh, at this update admin they, they can update their password and use it, uh, email and username so like here jensina123 at yahoo.com so I want to change uh, the rock123 at yahoo.com and username is Dwayne Lotion Okay, update admin and then we we get the update admin and then if uh, the staff get fired or uh, buat hail ke they akan uh, the manager will delete the admin and delete from uh, their life like example like here John Cena zero we delete and then they gone okay next category so category which is uh, how the admin will restock the the brand or the phone so if new brand uh, comes to the company uh, and admin where admin will add the new category for example will add uh, a new title like uh, Lenovo but I don't have a Lenovo picture so I just uh, I'm not selecting image and add a category and then uh, the image uh, section will say error because I'm not adding an image so this uh, will be the adding category page so I will delete the category and like that the category is gone alright next the brand okay so I've put many uh, devices or brand the, the phone and accessories so uh, at this page uh, have the same action also will we will add and uh, delete and update brand also and next is order order is uh, when the customer make a purchase the database will connect to the uh, admin page and will show the order date and the status of the uh, order so uh, if customer if admin had the order complete so admin can update the order like this they can update the quantity also if the uh, if the order is cancelled they can cancel the order and then uh, change the customer name and also the customer address and so on so it will update the status okay so that is it for the uh, admin page and so uh, this admin can log out and then the another admin will log in to the uh, admin page so we will go to the database okay so this is my database uh, uh, we have four table which is admin table brand table category table and order table so at the admin table which is the admin page uh, which is uh, id email username and password so this is the our password and the brand is okay so the brand is the devices so we can see the all the the data that admin put we can see the data that admin put at the add brand button in the database so we will know what uh, devices and other detail like image name prices at the database after that the category 
just the same as the brand and order order is the most uh, difficult one to make because they have so many uh, details to add right here as you see okay so this is it for our database and then we will go to the main page okay assalamualaikum so we move on to the main page where the customer will be purchasing the devices or their favorite uh, phone to buy okay so we have three options which is like uh, our admin category we added iphone huawei and xiaomi uh, this is our main page so they can explore the brand which is the category the admin and then uh, also we have the recommended products in the main page so we got here so if they rush to buy something like they want to uh, buy the iPhone 12 on the spot but they can order iPhone 12 on the spot they can put their name me <coughs> And when a uh, customer click confirm order, and then the admin page will showing the exact uh, what order they want, which is the iPhone twelve, and then the and then the order date and also next the de other details after that we have home option which is the home okay so next categories is the categories the brand itself huawei uh, accessories which is they can buy from here okay so uh this button doesn't work because we don't add uh, any link because we don't have any actual uh, tech hub store media social so we don't have we don't uh, put anything put any link on these uh, features okay so the food uh, section is uh, not working because uh, it's just for the decoration of the website because this is a template and the contact will showing the footer okay so that's all from us thank you so baiklah uh... So yang last ni pun sama macam yang tadi Yang saya tegur Pakai template kan Untuk handpage kan Nampak kat situ tak pakai local host kan Direct Key in key in terus masuk database Betul? Itu ada cerita sikit Haa kan Sepatutnya dia dia tak boleh masuk database tu Kan? Saya saya dah buat uh, yang page begini kan Lepas tu uh, Saya ada masalah dekat Zen So saya pakai yang HTML ni untuk recording Haa kan tu uh, hati hati lah benda tu so cumanya dia lebih sikit daripada yang group sebelum tu uh, admin page dia tu uh, kamu buat sendiri kan yes ok so tak tak ada pakai template sebelum ni kan tak ada ha. so rasa macam mana puati boleh buat puati rasa Ok, nice. puas hati kan So, nampak beza lah Bukan saya nak compare uh, tapi At okay. least uh, dia, walaupun dia Pakai template, saya tak marah pakai template Kan, pakai template, memang saya Yang suruh pakai template kan, pakai CSS apa Tapi at least, kamu ada come out Macam group ni dah tunjuk So, untuk the admin page Dia orang cuba buat, tak ada macam Yang 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 tadi kan, yang saya tegur kan Alright So, at least ada something lah kan, so maksudnya dia admin page kita, apa nama 
yang template ni uh, dapat tolonglah kita mempercepatkan kerja kan so saya nasihatkan kamu tanya uh, group group mana group Syami ke yang pakai bootstrap mana group Syami ha, ha, ha. group Syami yang pakai bootstrap uh, sebenarnya bootstrap dia akan mempercepatkan lagi kamu So button-button kamu tak payah fikir Sebab saya nampak sini kamu sayang lah Kamu CSS dah cantik Tapi bila bab uh, UI tu ada sikit lah Yang kat situ kan Okay yang lain-lain uh, Encrypted password tak ada And then delete pun sama tak ada Apa nama Confirmation box Alright So presentation yang, ter yang ni terbaik lah Saya tengok yang ni terbaik lah Yang last ni uh, Saya ada muzik background kan Yes, yang lain tu yes, yang lain tu bukan tak baik cuma boleh tambah boleh buat penambahbaikan lagi okey so kita uh, kita tengok belajar daripada contohlah belajar daripada kawan-kawan so ada yang powerpoint tak tunjuk tak tekan full screen ataupun tekan full screen tak jadi-jadi patut record juga kan nampak powerpoint punya file kan patutnya kita slide show kan kan Alright, so ada yang present pakai PDF uh, tu memang tak menarik langsung Faham tak? Ada kan? Ok, so presentation kalau boleh, kalau nak tunjuk something kamu guna mouse pointer lah ataupun uh, cursor ke kan, baru nampak bila kamu nak tunjuk something-something Alright, so sebelum saya tutup kita, Saya nak record balik yang minggu lepas uh, Group Aisyah uh, Untuk validation data Okay, so kena improve lagi lah Tak ada apa nama validation data ni semua Saya rasa semua semua group ni Bukan group Aisyah saja, Tapi saya nampak kat dia lah Kan, uh, sebab dia tak uh, data validation tau macam mana nak bilik data Kalau email kena masukkan email Kalau kata nombor kena masukkan nombor Tak boleh masukkan ni Kan nama tak boleh masuk mengapu Haa itulah Ok Ok so Yang lain semua boleh tengok bootstrap Responsive Ok Apa satu lain ni tak perlu screenshot system Ok so Screenshot system kamu present juga kan Aisyah dah Aisyah dan, dan tim dia Tak ada Minggu lepas Tak ada, tak ada group Aisyah Ok, saya record kamu dengar je lah Ok, so dekat uh, Dekat powerpoint tak perlu Screenshot So terus live demo macam kamu dah buat juga live demo so tak perlu share, screenshot. Share. Ya ya. So saya saya suka saya susah nak dengar. Saya suka suka suka. Alright so saya rasa internet saya lagi bahal tapi uh, insyaallah kalau kamu tengok balik dekat uh, YouTube nanti uh, sepatutnya okey lah sebab saya record dekat OBS kan. OBS dia tak pergi internet dia dekat dekat, dekat apa nama desktop saya je. Boleh ke? Boleh, boleh. So saya keluar jap dan masuk balik kod kod elok balik kan. Okey, so tak apa. Ah uh, group Aisha nanti dengar balik dekat YouTube lah. Okey. And then uh, Color blind features uh, Bagus tapi tak kontras dengan background Ada uh, color blind tapi tak kontras Okay So Kalau lepas delete data apa jadi Kena register semula ke Kan Okay Lain-lain kena Tengok uh, Dekat database lah Okay group Adi Okay so group ni pun CSS cantik ya. Eh? Terbaik ya. Eh? Okey, untuk sign up nanti kamu boleh try uh, try API daripada uh, Google ataupun Facebook. 
Maksudnya kamu nak sign up tak perlu dah kamu pakai je yang a uh, a uh, jap ah. Okay, uh, so Boleh try Google Google sign sign in kan Ataupun Facebook connect Nama dia kan Dia ada API uh, So password pun tak encrypted Lepas tu UI dah cantik CSS tapi gambar masih pakai Gambar yang yang template tu Gambar pun mak salih kan Betul Group ID Ada Ya nah, kan nah, So kena tukar lah So link ke social media Tak pakai database kan Semua hard code kan? And then uh, Sebab dia pakai template Dia tak tukar uh, Currency pun Masih lagi dalam Simbol dollar Kan Simbol dollar Okay So next time uh, Present coding lah Nak tengok senang kan So tak apalah sebab saya first time mengajar SP250 ni. Sen depan saya tak bagilah pakai apa order-order barang online kat website. Kita buat sistem pula kan. Ini first time so tak apalah nak nak buat pun buat je. Free je semua boleh buat. So semua yang kamu buat banyakkan buat website ya kan. Kan. So jadi projek pun tak nampak besar, nampak macam assignment website saja tak belum belum capai lagi level projek lah kan so tak nampak sistem so sepatutnya kita buat sistem untuk ISP tapi tak apalah uh, sebab kekangan ODL ni apa semacam-macam kan ok uh, untuk presentation uh, depan betul-betul de depan klien hmm, tak tak perlu present coding lah kan uh, untuk present depan kalian tak perlu present coding untuk kelas saya ok cantik lah so bukan teguran ni so ni tips lah kalau kalian nak present dalam kelas ok macam guru Adi ni present coding ok so jangan kata kena present coding untuk klien pun present coding tak perlu alright and last group yang siapa lah belum ni Syamil lah Hmm. Oh, sama delete uh, Dia tunjuk delete kan Delete tak ada dialog box Ok Tak ada button Ataupun tak ada link Untuk ke main Main page balik Ataupun kamu boleh pakai Site name kat atas tu Ok uh, Validation data Pay to when uh, Pay kepada China kan And then No book set No sponsor uh, Lain sama lah sama macam yang saya dah tegur sebelum ni Alright So buat hati So tinggal lagi next week Hantar Report kan So hantar report nak hantar kat mana tu Nanti saya create satu model kat kamu Kamu create uh, Kamu hantar kat model boleh Tadi ada ada tanya pasal testing tak perlu buat kan So Zainal kata tak perlu buat kan Ke kamu nak buat? Hmm. Tersekat-sekat tak apalah Tersekat-sekat kita tak boleh lama-lama Kita Saya tunjuk recording ni lah kat kamu Alright Siam lah uh, Kamu nak dengar saya Nak dengar tapi tak boleh dengar kan Okay so Saya harap kamu tengok balik uh, Recording saya ni dekat YouTube Uh, kita tutup kelas dengan tasbih kifara dan suratul wal'as subhanakallahumma wa bihamdika asyhadu an la ilaha illa anta astaghfiruka wa atubu ilaik bismillahirrahmanirrahim wal asr inna insana fi khusr illa alladhina amanu wa amilus solihati wa tasabbihu haqqa wa tawassabus sab sadaqallahu azim so assalamualaikum jangan lupa clock out nah boleh okay. so sorry lah internet masalah ni internet masalah so saya harap uh, OBS saya buat kerja dengan cantik lah Kan dapat rekod dengan cantik
Okey. Assalamualaikum. Assalamualaikum. Thank you.